Hey YouTube, how you doing? So today is Vader Day 14. Yes it is, well done Timmer. Um, so today we're going to be doing some cooking. It's exciting stuff. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to cook. So today we are going to cook this. It's a uh, pot roast meatloaf. See, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Num, num. That's the, uh, that there is chickpeas and that bit there is the actual meatloaf. So, exciting stuff. Um, so, welcome along. Okay, so what we're going to need for this is two medium onions, see, they're medium, olive oil. We then need uh, salt and pepper. There's pepper, it's not much in it, and then that's salt. The next thing we need is coriander. Now, it said we needed ground coriander, but we didn't have any, so we had seeds, so I, um, with this, and yeah, I don't know if you can see it, see it, see it, just there, there we go, there's that. Uh, then we need some cream crackers. Jacobs, see, product promotion. I should get some money for that. We need organic gano. Oh, here it is. Hang on a minute. There we go. See? This will probably all look the same because, I mean, it's in jars. Uh, next thing we need is some Dijon mustard. There we go. More product placement. Ta-da! And then the next thing we need is one large egg. There we go. I don't know if that's large. There we go. Then we need some chilli. or well, one red chilli. There we go. And then some paprika, smoked actually, smoked paprika, I do, did get that wrong, there you go, see, just there. And then we need some chickpeas from a can, winner, and then we need some balsamic vinegar, love that stuff, I can really drink it. And then we uh, need some rosemary, we don't have fresh, so again, out of a jar, winner. And then we need some bacon, ta-da, bacon and then the lemon, but that's in the fridge, so there we go. So off we go. First thing we need to do is finely chop some onions. Right, so I've chopped my onions now. Now I've got to uh, fry this for seven minutes and I've got to turn it for 30 seconds. So what you've got to do, Two plugs of oil. It's probably really a bit more because I don't really know what plug is. <laughs> uh, that can live there. Then we get the coriander. Assuming that's a teaspoon. That's a teaspoon. So you put that in there. Can I just mention we have measuring spoons? Oh yeah. We do have measuring spoons, but um, me being a man has neglected to use them. Not that I'm stereotyping all men, of course, but... And then... Well, that was worth... Should have been a bit of a sizzle there, but but it wasn't. When you just turned I'm going to put my salt and pepper in now. So... What I did, I stirred it in that, and so there you go, there's a pinch of salt. Oh crap, just missed the thing. And I've done the same with that, and a bit of pepper. I can get the lid off it. Whoops, probably a bit too much pepper there. Uh, probably might put a bit more salt in there just to balance that out. Clumsy impression. Yeah. There we go. Cooked. Now we put them into a cool pan uh, to cool down. Right, there we go. Job done. Now here comes. There we go. So I've got my crackers in a bag, and now I'm going to beat the living daylights out of it. And now you put that in the cool pan with your onion. So I've added the crackers in. Uh, and I've also added my oregano and two heaped teaspoons of um, Dijon mustard 
and I've also added the minced beef now and that's all in with the cooled onions so now I'm going to crack an egg put that bad boy in there and then put some uh, more uh, salt and pepper in there and I've got to mix it all up My hands are gone numb because the meat was cold. <laughs> oh, this is disgusting. So now I've mixed it all up, I've got to put it in a, a sort of thing to cook in the oven. But There we go. That is. Here yeah, I'm chopping another onion because he managed to put two in the mixture when he should have only put in one. He doesn't look very impressed with me now. Ha! -ha. So we've got to get the meatloaf out now. This is to make the uh, remainder bit of the uh, sauce. Really, really hot. So uh, make sure you supervise the kids when you do that. Okay, so we've drained all the fat from the thing and we put it in with the rosemary, which is just there. We now then get our bacon and then we cover it. So now we've got to put all of our um, meatloaf sauce into there, somehow. Okay, so now we're going to get the sauce and uh, put around the thing. So now, what we've got to do is pour the fat that we drained earlier on along with the rosemary and then we cook for another 10 minutes and then okay so hot roast meatloaf done